Hello, and welcome to a UNCG University Libraries videos on Google versus Google Scholar versus Library Database. Let's first talk about Google. How does Google work? Google works on natural language processing, meaning you can type full sentences and questions into Google. Google also uses search engine optimization, SEOs, which is the way the internet searches by algorithms. Companies can pay money to have their websites designed to be pushed to the top of Google searches through SEOs. So this means the first page of results are not always the most relevant for your research or for an assignment. Notice that Google also gives you a lot of stuff. So again, relying on that first page is not always the best for your research or assignments. Google can be great for finding keywords. It's also great to find more current information that databases might not have. Where does Google Scholar fit? Google Scholar is not Google, but it works in similar ways. It searches a smaller portion of the web, similar to searching the library catalog and databases. Google Scholar focuses on searching scholarly resources from a variety of places. Some positives about Google Scholar is that it's easy to use, like Google, and does have a relevance feature. If the article is free, it hooks you to the free article. It also has the citation data, which can be useful. Some negatives of Google Scholar are that you cannot search by subject area and there is not an easy way to sort articles. Many times the resources try to charge you money through a paywall. There is no filter to make sure what you're looking at is a peer reviewed article. You can connect Google Scholar to UNCG libraries through the settings and library links and search UNCG to connect to UNCG University Libraries catalog. This helps you find full text of resources through the library catalog. Please note that the Find Full Text at UNCG feature leads you to find the resource through the UNCG catalog, but if a resource does not have that next to it, such as in this picture above with diagnosis and treatment of chronic ankle pain, you can still click on the title of the resource and see if it's available for free online. Please contact your UNCG librarian or use interlibrary loan if you cannot find an article through Google Scholar. Never pay for an article while attending UNCG. So why should you use library databases? A database is a searchable collection of information sources. The library has many databases. Some contain only articles, while others have articles, data, images, and videos. Databases many times have a lot of scholarly articles or peer-reviewed articles, which can be useful for a research assignment. Your student fees go towards the library purchasing library databases, but the content in them are free to use through your UNCG login, wherever you have access to internet. Databases work best with keywords of your search rather than natural language processing. Google handles natural language searching well, but library databases and catalogs require structured keywords. It's best to avoid words that describe the relationship between two concepts, like effect, effects, impacts, influence, consequence, cause, interaction, and more. It's also good to avoid words that imply an argument, like pros, cons, advantages, disadvantages, and more. Databases are not something that are just used by libraries. You use databases in your everyday life. Think about Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. They are collections of streaming video for you to view, and you can search for videos. When you use these databases, such as Netflix, you don't type in something like best romantic comedy movies based on young adult books. You use keywords, title of the movie, or actors' names. In this example, we can try romantic teen movies to see the best results for something that you might want to watch if you're in the mood for this genre. Library research guides, research guides or course guides, have links for you to find databases that are useful to your discipline. You can usually find databases under the Finding Articles or Finding Resources tab on your subject guide. You can also access all databases and our most popular databases through the database link on the library homepage. From a database, you can use keywords. Natural language processing will not work to search. You will usually get less results than a Google search with many scholarly options. Library databases also give you more options than Google and even Google Scholar for filters or limiters, including source type, peer review, dates, and more. The keywords can help you keep searching on this topic, and the abstract can help you decide whether you should read the whole article. Be sure to also look for the full text or PDF within the article entry. When you find an article or resource you like, you can get a permalink to find the article again and get a citation of the article. Both can be found on the right-hand side 
of the resource entry. This tutorial covers one database in the EBSCO group or interface, but remember that there are many different databases and interfaces of these databases based on your subject. Many of the same concepts covered apply to different databases, but remember to consult your librarian. Remember to try different databases. The research process is not a straight line. You will need to go back and adapt your research questions and keywords as you search. Be sure to check out the UNCG Research Tutorials Ultra to learn more about the research process of picking and developing a topic, finding evidence, evaluating evidence, and integrating and citing sources. Overall, remember to try more than one database or Google search for your research. Library databases and searching for scholarly articles are similar to streaming video searching. If you cannot find a television show, say Grey's Anatomy in Hulu, would you give up? No, you would try another streaming database like Netflix. It's the same with your research. Try different databases to get the best results. UNCG Libraries help. UNCG Libraries homepage leads you to a link to chat with your librarian, search through an A to Z list of databases, and find your research guide by subject. You can also use our online catalog, the red box at the top of the library website. The catalog is not all of the databases in our collection, so you can use the advanced search to understand what the catalog is searching. All tab searches electronic resources at UNCG and beyond, and catalog searches books and ebooks that UNCG owns. You can interlibrary loan things UNCG does not own except for textbooks and some ebooks. Every department has a librarian that can help, so be sure to find yours from your major and course research guide by subject. Always remember to chat us if you have any issues. The library chat is open during the academic semesters of fall and spring semesters up until 12 a.m. Sunday through Thursday and during the day Friday and Saturday.